Ella is an abortion drug. It's a drug that can cause abortions if a woman is already pregnant, and it's a drug that can prevent her embryo from implanting if the egg has been fertilized. Ella blocks progesterone, and progesterone is needed to feed the baby and to cause the placenta to grow. So when Ella blocks progesterone, the baby starves and dies. When we look at Ella's effects on animals where it has been used, Ella causes abortions in mice, in rabbits, and in monkeys. And at the lowest dose that they could use in these animals, abortions were still seen. So it's clear that in mammals, blocking progesterone causes abortions. And it's very clear that in humans, we are dependent on progesterone when we're in our mother's womb, when we're implanting, and when we're growing. Progesterone feeds the placenta. So animal studies are consistent with the known fact that Ella causes abortions, just like its parent compound, RU486. The manufacturer of Ella claims that Ella works to prevent an egg from being released. But that's deceptive because the European Medical Association, when they approved Ella in the EU, stated that Ella causes abortions. And for that reason, the European Medical Association required that a pregnancy test be done prior to taking Ella. The FDA, however, the advisory committee, strongly recommended that women not get a pregnancy test. Why? So that they won't know if they've caused an abortion or not. This is dishonest and deceptive. And American women who care about choice would certainly want to know if they are causing an abortion versus simply preventing an egg from being released.